DR Sports, Skegness Dave in the building. Listen, you're long suffering for Madrid. Well, actually, not long suffering, but <laughs> Madrid today, yeah. they got the job done. And, and you, you made the point earlier on. You said that the way that was set up and that was perfect for the way they were playing Liverpool. Yeah. Um, for me, I personally think that Ancelotti came in with a game plan to target um, Alexander-Arnold. 100%. I think Vinicius was the main go-to guy for Real Madrid. 100%. When you look at the passing, the transitional play from Madrid, including Modric, Cruz, Casemiro was outstanding. Every single tackle mm. that he put in was absolutely outstanding. And when you look at Real Madrid as a unit, most importantly, as a unit, they've done the business today. 100%. They, they dug in deep when Liverpool were pressing in the first 20, 30 minutes. They dug in deep. They passed out the back, tried to at every single mm. moment, not just like once or twice and lose a ball, but they tried to at every single moment. And that's what made the difference today. We played as a team, played as a unit. Courtois was, oh, was outstanding, unreal. wasn't he? Unreal. Courtois today shows why he is, if not the best keeper in the world, for me personally, because mm. he's tall, he's got huge presence in the goal, huge presence in the goal. And that chance that Salah had... Mm. where he just flicked away with his arm. The, his, mm. his bicep just got in the way there. And uh, I think overall, he, he shunned today and showed why he is one of the best keepers in the world. And, and you know what? Ancelotti, last year was at Everton. Yeah, right. True. Right, And this year now, he's winning the Champions League again. Uh, he's an unbelievable manager. I think sometimes, because I don't know if it's because he's kind of a quietish type of guy. I don't think he gets the... Everybody talks about, like, at the moment, everyone will be talking about Pep. Yeah. Everyone's talking about Klopp. They don't talk about Ancelotti. Ancelotti yeah. But if you look at his record, it's unbelievable, isn't it? It is. I mean, when you look at every single league he's gone there, he's shunned as a manager. He's become the kind of shining light, the, the, the Don, as you would say. Mm. <laughs> he's become the Don at every single team. And people listen to him. They respect him as a manager for his experience, for his tactical analysis of every single game. Real Madrid went in halftime. They came out. They controlled the tempo of the game. Um, Liverpool looked tired after 60 minutes, 70 minutes. I said in the beginning of the game that that's their time to fade away in the match. And Real Madrid mm. just looked much better throughout that time. And I think Ancelotti was also a pivotal uh, presence in today's mm. match in the Champions League final, especially the, the, the magnitude of the game. Unreal. Unreal. Can they do it again? 15 Potentially. So for me, I'm looking at the summer, the transfer window, see what Real Madrid can bring in, maybe a couple of young players to, you know, see as future prospects, like, for example, Vinicius, um, like Camavinga, mm. these type of players Rodrigo, that can be... Rodrigo. Uh, Rodrigo, young, exactly. Emerging, young, emerging you know, I thought talent. Valverde today was brilliant. Unreal, unreal. And Valverde mm. as well, on the right-hand side, he uses... Ancelotti uses Valverde as an inverted winger to a right-back. So that's what mm. he does. So he, he goes forward, he bombs forward, but he also sits back in that five to create that defensive stability and create the kind of um, the momentum that we need to push forward. And he was the one that instigated that mm. whole move from the attack. And Vinicius had to just slot it away. Mm. Well, listen, congratulations. Well deserved. Real Madrid. Yeah. End the stream. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs>